hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop the next update on bridal material stay tuned on today's episode vivan enters sonny sets fire on his way he crosses fire and reaches mira and saves her sonny locks them and walks away vivan breaks door Sonny says he will not let their love win and throws gas cylinder in. Cylinder blasts Mira and Vera. Vivan shouts. Mira's family rush severely injured Mira and Vivan to the hospital. Dolly and Amma fume that if Sonny is found, they would kill him. Sonny walks in disguised as a nurse in front of them, not being identified at all. Dolly goes to the temple to pray for Mira and Vivan's life. The fortune teller lady says there's a death, that it's dark in front and Dolly will return to her seeking help. Doctor treats Vivan and Mira. Mira is blindfolded due to her eyes injury. Vivan goes into coma. Mira wakes up shouting Vivan and asks to take her to Vivan. Sonny walks into Vivan's room and removes his oxygen mask. Vivan gaps for air. Mira walks in blindfolded and searches Vivan. Sonny mimics her silently. Mira finds Vivan and senses him not breathing. She shouts and calls doctors. Doctor enters and seeing Vivan's pulse less, gives him shock and tries to resuscitate him and says he is no more. But Mira cries and pleads that Vivan to open, should open his eyes. Vivan breathes again. Dolly thinks that temple lady was right. She needs to meet her. Doctor opens the oxygen valve and asks who must have done this. Mira says an evil she has to end soon. Vivan asks her to, doctor asks her to go and get her eye bandage removed. She says she will wait. Vivan looks at her and calls her. Mira asks to remove her bandage. She wants to see Vivan's smi Vivan smiling face. Nurse removes the bandage. Mira asks why lights are off. Amma says lights are on. Mira says she cannot see anything. The whole family is shocked to learn that Mira is blind. Mira is taken home. She reminisces time spent with Vivan. She sits for breakfast. Vivan asks her to feed him breakfast. She breaks roti and dips it in cord. Vivan says he does not like cord and likes Sajbi and her love. He walks aside crying. Dolly consoles him that he is Mira's hope. If he loses hope, what about them? He says she's right. He will try his best to revive Mira's eyes. He walks to Mira and teaches number steps to reach each places of the house. A romantic song plays in the background. He finally gets her downstairs and says she lands so easily. Vivan gets a call and says his wife is unwell and he cannot call. Mira asks whose phone it was. He says someone wanted to discuss about Sonny Kudo Academy. Mira says he should go as it was Pami's dream and says he has taught her a lot. He asks the press button if she needs help and leaves. Mira goes to home temple and lights lamp. She burns her hand with matchstick. Dolly rushes to her help and says she knows her daughter is very courageous and will not accept defeat. She says she will go to the temple and complete her oath. Mira thinks Vivan has taught her to walk around the house well and asks Dolly to go. She will manage. Vivan meets Pami's friend who says Sonny Kudu was her and Pami's dream project which she wants to pursue. Vivan says it's a good idea. Doctor comes to meet him. Vivan says his wife Mira went blind and he's tensed. Doctor says God sends help on time. Yesterday, a donor wanted to donate eyes only for a needy person like Mira. Vivan gets happy hearing that. Dolly gets, goes to meet Temple Lady and seeks her help. She looks into her red book and sees Mira's problems are because of Vivan. He's a threat to her life. Dolly says she must be mistaken. Lady shouts that her red book does not lie. On the other side, Doctor's son runs around Vivan and holds his hand. Vivan's hand turns red with blood from his hand injury. Lady asks Dolly to keep Mira away from Vivan if she wants to see Mira alive. Mira hears doorbell, walks till door holding wall and opens it. She calls Vivan and does not find anyone. She senses flower bouquet and picks it. Vivan enters and gets closer to her. She says she wants to feel good every time the way she's feeling now. They both get romantic. Vivan gets intimate with her. She then realizes it was her imagination. Sonny reaches outside house gets out of car and laughs that Mira is habituated to win always. Now he would defeat her. He walks in laughing. Sonny enters Mira's house. Mira thinks Vivan came and smilingly walks holding wall shining the saint she decorated room for him and hopes he likes it. Sonny walks near her. 
She smells alcohol and asks if he is drunk. Sonny speaks. She panics and asks why he came. He slaps her and shouts not to speak. He drags her away. She pleads to leave and go away. Power goes off. Mira finds Vas and breaks it on Sonny's head. Sonny stands bleeding. She runs to the room and locks the door. Sonny knocks on the door. Mira searches mobile on the bed, finds it and thinks how to call Vivan. She prays to God to help her. Sonny walks in, breaking the door. Vivan on the other side tells the doctor friend that he will leave now. They should let him speak to the eye donor once. Doctor says Donna has one condition. Vivan asks what the condition is. He gets a call and hears Mira pleading to save her and pleading Sonny to go away. He runs towards home. Sonny molests Mira again. Mira warns him to go away, else she would punish him. He asks to try then. She picks something and hits him repeatedly. He falls down. She hits him again, saying she warned him not to mess with her. He overpowers her again and drags her down again. Vivan reaches home. Mira hears his voice and runs to him. Sonny stands shocked. Vivan slaps him, showing, shouting how dare he have Mira. Police comes and holds him. Family also reaches. Police drags Sonny away. Sonny says this is just the thriller and picture will st is still coming. Vivan hugs Mira and asks if she's fine and asks her parents how they can leave Mira alone. Dolly says she went to the temple to pray on Mira's insistence. Mira says she doesn't want to bind them. Vivan says he likes to be around her. What if something had happened to her? She says nothing will happen to her until he's with her. He says he got a good news. Nothing will happen to her even if she's alone. Doctor tells his wife if they should inform Vivan that Mira would get eye of suicide keys. Vivan informs Dolly and Amma that he got an eye donor for Mira. They get happy. Dolly thinks her prayers are fulfilled so soon. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's update on bridal material. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.